Hello everyone. This is the first video of in-depth revision series. I'll be starting this series with the public health dentistry. So today I'll be covering the statistical test in depth. It is because this year question paper, there was three questions that is 12 marks only from this topic. So I'll be covering 25 to 30 previous year MCQs uh, in this video. So now let's start the video. So first question was about the knee. Uh, so first uh, let's talk about the parametric test. So parametric test uh, are the test which compares are the quantitative test. So it compares the mean or standard deviation. So first is paired, paired student t-test. In paired student t-test, it compares the mean in paired data. That is in same group of individuals before and after intervention. The example is if the mean serum uh, albumin level of a dengue patient is gib given before and after the treatment, then the comparison of mean level can be done by student paired t-test. Now, next, next is uh, unpaired student t-test. So, it, unpaired t-test compares the uh, mean in two different group of individual. The example is if the hemoglobin of anemic patient or hemoglobin level of hookworm patient is given. So, there is two group, uh, anemic patient and hookworm patient. Then this comparison of mean levels can be done by unpaired student t-test. Now, next is z-test. So Z test is a variant of student T test. So it is done when the sample size is more than 30. Now next is ANOVA test. So ANOVA test is also called F test or F ratio. So it compares the mean in more than two, in more than two different group of individuals. Uh, if we take an example of same uh, hemoglobin level, so if the hemoglobin level of, in iron deficiency anemia is given and folic uh, acid deficiency anemia and hypovolemic anemia is given, then the comparison of this mean of hemoglobin can be done by ANOVA test. Now, uh, let's take another example. If the mean weight of student in class A, B and C are given, then the comparison of these three uh, mean weights can be done by ANOVA test. Now moving to the non-parametric test. So non-parametric test uh, are the qualitative test. So it measures the percentage proportion of fraction. So now let's talk about the sign test. So first is sign test. Sign test compare the percentage proportion and fraction in the paired data. That is in same group of individual before and after intervention. So it is used for per percentage proportion and fractions. So let's take an example, like 30% of students in class are anemic. After six months of therapy, 20% are anemic. So in this, a uh, same group of students are, uh, comp we are comparing the same group of students, but the uh, value is given in percentage. So the test of significance to be applied is sign test. Now let's take, uh, now moving to the chi-square test. So chi-square test comparing the percentage proportion and fraction in two or more than two different group of individual. Let's take an example, like three fourths of student in a class are underweight, whereas another class has a two third enemy. So here two group of students are given, like one is underweight group, uh, one group of students come under underweight category and second group come under anemic category. So there are two different groups. So in this two proportions are given, so the test of significance to be used here is chi-square test. Now, Fisher, Fisher exact test. So it is a variant of chi-square test and it is done when the sample size is less than 30. Now moving to the next, it is Wilcoxon test. Wilcoxon sign rank test, test is used in uh, match pair data and Wilcoxon ransom test is used in two unpaired samples. Now, uh, Mann-Whitney test. So Mann-Whitney test is used for assessing whether the two sets of observation come from same distribution. That is, if the two independent non-pair sample come from the same population. Now moving to the degree of freedom. So degree of freedom is the number of observation in a data set that can freely vary once the parameters have been estimated. So degree of freedom can be calculated. It is used in chi-square test and t-test. So in chi-square test, it is calculated by uh, C minus one into R minus one, where C is the column and R is the number of rows. And in the student t-test, when one sample data or pair t-test is uh, uh, in pair t-test, 
the degree of freedom is calculated by n minus one, where n is the number of unit in the sample. And in when the two sample data or unpaired t test is uh, uh, done, then the degree of freedom is calculated by n one plus n two minus one. That is n one and n two are the number of units in the two samples. Now let's take let's start the MCQs. So these are the previous year questions. So in a study, variation in cholesterol was seen before and after the after giving a drug. So the which test the test which would be uh, which would give its significance. So here the since the mean cholesterol level are being measured in the same group of individual before and after an intervention, then this is a paired data. And the most appropriate test is a uh, pair T test. So the answer is C pair T test. Now the second question was the square root of P1 Q1 by N1 plus P2 Q2 by N2 is a measure of. So it is a measure of standard error of difference between the two proportion. So the answer is C. Now the next question is. A cardiologist wants to study the effect of an atrovastatin drug. He notes down the initial cholesterol levels of 50 patients, then administered drugs on them. After a month of treatment, he measured the cholesterol level again. Which of the following is the most appropriate test uh, to test the sign uh, statistical significance of the change in uh, blood cholesterol? So in this question also, since the mean of cholesterol level are being measured in the same group of individual before and after an intervention, then this is again a pair data. And thus the most appropriate uh, to test the statistical significance of the change in blood cholesterol will be paired T-test. Hence the answer is paired T-test. Then the next question, the next question was, the, uh, uh, the mean blood pressure of a group of a person was determined and after an interventional trial, the mean BP was estimated again. The best test to be applied to determine the significance of intervention is. So in this question, the mean BP of a blood group of a person was determined after an interventional trial. So the mean BP was estimated again. So the best test to be uh, to determine the significance is paired student T test. So answer is B. The next question is the height of a group of 20 boys uh, aged 10 years was 140 plus 13 centimeter and 20 girls of same age was 135 plus 7 centimeter. To test the statistical significance of difference in the height, which test is applied? So since the uh, sample size is 20, hence uh, Z test is excluded from this. And in this, two groups are given, boys and girls. Hence, unpaired T-test uh, is the best option. Uh, now, the next question is, in a particular trial, the association of lung cancer with smoking is found to be 40% in one sample and 60% in another sample. Then what is the best test to compare the result? So, uh, in this, uh, the association of lung cancer with smoking is found to be 40% in one sample and 60% in another. So, two proportion are to be compared. So, best test is chi-square test. Now, the next question. The next question is, an investigator wants to study the association between maternal intake of iron supplement and incidence of low birth weight. That is 2,500 or uh, more than 2,500 grams. So, he collects relevant data for, from the 100 pregnant women as the status of usage of iron supplements and the status of low birth weight in their newborns. The appropriate statistical test in this situation is so in this situation, there are two proportions. So there are two qualitative variables. First is status of usage of iron supplement. And second is status of a low birth weight. So the association between the uh, uh, two uh, qualitative variable is studied by, uh, so the most appropriate test is a chi-square test. Then the next question is, while applying chi-square test to a contingency table of four rows and four columns, the degree of freedom would be. So for degree of freedom in chi-square test, uh, row minus one into column minus one, uh, we can calculate the degree of freedom. So here four minus one into four minus one, that is three into three. So the answer is nine. 
Then again, the, in the next question, in a three into four contingency table, the number of um, degree of freedom equals to, so it is three, two, uh, three minus one into four minus one, that is two into three, it is six. A cardiologist wants to uh, study the effect of antihypertensive drug. He notes down the initial systolic blood pressure of 50, 50 patients and then administer drugs on them. So after a week of treatment, he measures the following is the most appropriate statistical test of significance to test the uh, statistically significance of change in BP. So in this again, uh, he's, uh, the cardiologist is uh, seeing, uh, measuring the blood pressure after and before intervention of the drug. And the pair T test is the most appropriate test. Uh, this is the same uh, question which was repeated about the lung cancer and smoking. So lung cancer and smoking, the association is found between 40% in one sample. So here do two different two groups of proportion are given. So two spot, two uh, group of proportion, uh, chi-square test is the best test. So which is not required for chi-square test. So mean and standard deviation of the group and uh, each expected cell frequency more than five large sample contingency table. So we know this is a very direct question. So uh, mean and standard deviation of the group is not required for chi-square test. Then which is an appropriate statistical test to compare two means. So for two means, student t-test is done and for two proportion, chi-square test is done. So the answer is student t-test. Now this is the, uh -huh, this is the same question. So appropriate test to compare the two proportions. So for two proportion, chi-square test is the answer. Now for testing the statistical significance of difference in the height of a school children, which is the uh, best test. So in this, they have not specified the group of children. So in school, they, the groups may be vary. It may be more than two. So they have not uh, specified it. Hence, the one-way ANOVA is the best option. So, which is not true about the chi-square test. So, the test, it tests the significance of difference between the two proportions. So, it, this is true. It tells about the presence or absence of association between two variables. Yes, even this is true. It directly measures the strength of association. No, this is the, uh, so not true for a chi-square test because it does not, uh, directly measures the strength of association. It tells about the presence or absence of association between the two variables. And so option is C. So the next question is about the mean bone density among two group of 50 people each is compared. What is the best test? So here two groups are present. And so the best answer is student t-test. So unpaired t-test is the best answer because two groups are present. Now an antihypertensive drug is studied before and after using a treatment to uh, using it for a treatment of a patient. What is the study? So pair t-test is the best option. Then the mean blood alcohol level are measured in a patient before and after using an interventional drug. The statistical test to of significance to be applied is again the answer is stu paired student t test then the test of significance include all except t z standard deviation and chi square so the answer is standard deviation then the chi square test is used to measure the degree of significance of difference between two proportion association between two variable correlation between two variable and agreement between two observations. So it is the significance of difference between the two proportion is the answer. Now, which is true regarding chi-square test is, it measures the significance of difference between the two proportion. Null hypothesis is equal, does not test the significance and test correlation and uh, regression. So as first answer is the, or first option is the answer. So it measures the significance of difference between two proportion. Now in a study, a study measures the serum cholesterol before and after a new lipid lowering uh, therapy has been given. And uh, what type of uh, significance test should be used to analyze the data? 
So here pair t test is used for uh, this. Now the next is test which is used to compare the two proportion. So for two proportion here, the two proportions are given. So in this chi-square test is uh, done. Even fissure exact test is done because fissure, fissure exact test is done when the sample is less than 30. So the answer is D and E. So now thank you all. Uh, these all the these all are the previous previous year questions, and uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. And now you you all will be able to answer all these statistical uh, test question in the exam. And if you have any doubt or any query, then please let me know in the comment section. Uh, till then, thank you for learning. Thank you. Bye bye.